If you're a property manager and landlord, chances are you're using QuickBooks for your property accounting. And it's no surprise because QuickBooks is the most popular accounting platform on the planet. But that being said, it's not designed for property accounting, and that can and does lead to some issues. But with a bit of duct tape and some workarounds, the QuickBooks property management setup process isn't too difficult. I know you clicked on this for help to set up your rental properties on QuickBooks, and I'm going to show you exactly how. But after that, I'm going to tell you an even better way to manage your accounting and help you streamline things with property management software. For. So stay tuned to hear about that. Before we jump into the step-by-step, -step, here's a breakdown of QuickBooks for property management. So yeah, like I said, you can use QuickBooks for property management accounting. You can create invoices, pay bills, manage accounts, reconcile accounts, and QuickBooks has the most robust reporting of virtually any accounting platform, as expected. It's far from perfect though. The first problem arises when you try to set up your rental properties in QuickBooks. There's no properties or tenants in QuickBooks or any of the other typical property accounting items. So you have to use things like QuickBooks customers categories for your properties and vendors for your owners. And other problems start to arise when you want to optimize any other area of your property management. You can bill a vendor for maintenance projects and pay them out when it's done, but you can't send a work order to that vendor from QuickBooks unless you use something like the purchase order section as you make shift your work orders. It's not ideal and can create some big confusion when you do your accounting depending on the workaround. But again, you can work around it. So you might want to use property management software to help you replace or integrate with QuickBooks. Anyway, now that you have the facts, this is how you set up your rental properties on QuickBooks. You'll be using this to record all transactions related to the properties you manage. Those transactions can include recording security deposits, collecting rent payments from tenants, collecting other fees and payments like pet rent and parking fees, and all maintenance and upgrades attached to the property. If you're a property management company, you'll also want to create a company file for your company activities as well, which we will go over. To set up a company file in QuickBooks to record transactions for your properties, the steps are set up your properties, set up your tenants, set up your owners, and set up your accounts. So step one, set up your properties. We talked about the workarounds earlier, so keep that in mind because this won't be clean and easy. Remember when we said that QuickBooks doesn't offer a way to add properties, so you need to add them as customers? That's what we're doing here. So first, starting in your main QuickBooks online dashboard, click add customer. A pop-up should come up where you can input all the information about your property. So fill in your property's information, then click add. Keep in mind that no other information than the display name is required to be inputted right now. If you're just making placeholders, the name is enough. On to step two, setting up your tenants. Once again, start from the dashboard and click add customer. You're already noticing the problem, aren't you? Yes, so we are going to be adding tenants the exact same way we added properties. However, there is a workaround like we mentioned that you can use to make a customer a sub customer under another. That's what we use to place tenants under the properties you inputted. Check the in sub customer box on the customer info pop-up to make one customer a sub customer of another. Next, select the property or customer this tenant is a part of. Like I said, it's not ideal, but now at least each of your tenants can be input as sub-customers of a property, allowing you to see each of them placed neatly under that property. The third step is going to be setting up your owners. This is similar to the first two steps of adding properties and tenants to QuickBooks, but we're going to head to expenses and then vendors. Then click add vendor manually. The window will look familiar. That's because it's essentially the same thing as adding a customer. Once you're done adding all the owners, you're ready for the final step. Step four, set up your accounts. This last step Step is a big one, so it's important to make sure it's done right from the start. We're going to be setting up your accounts. So head to accounting, then chart of accounts. Click the little green new button on the top right. Next, select the correct account type category based on where the account fits. So I'm going to go over a little example with you. Let's say rental income. Type in rental income under name, then under detail type, you're going to select sales of products income. Again, not exactly the category we'd ideally use, but another workaround is necessary. You'll then create an account for every other type of income, asset, and expense in the same way. For example, security deposits go under liabilities, pet rent go under income, while the bank accounts you use to collect rent payments go under assets. And with that, you're ready to go. If you're a property management company and might also be wondering how to set up your company files, that includes all business activity related directly to the management of your company itself, such as the accounts you use to accept payment for your property management services and where you issue payments to the owners. One of the biggest challenges of a property management company is keeping accounting between the company and your client's property separate. For more on how to set up your company file in QuickBooks, check out a comprehensive guide to QuickBooks for property management where we go over step-by-step -step instructions on how to set that up. It's a blog post and I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. So where does QuickBooks fall short for property management? As I touched on earlier, while QuickBooks has a ton of functionality and versatility and is easily the most robust accounting platform there is, 
it does have its limits, especially when it comes to property management. So while we did manage to set up our entire file for managing property management activity, it wasn't exactly pretty. So here's where it falls short. First is easily one of the biggest challenges of using QuickBooks for property management. It's that QuickBooks makes it difficult to separate your business and your client's property activity. Property management is unique in the way that it needs to simultaneously manage its own accounting, payroll for your staff, utilities for your own workplace, and taxes, and its clients' properties, including everything from rent collection to maintenance fees. There are workarounds, but it's never optimal and always requires more work than should be necessary. Second is that QuickBooks requires multiple workarounds that can be both confusing and problematic, as we've kind of talked about. QuickBooks is great if you have a smaller to medium-sized portfolio, as they won't cause too many issues. However, the larger your portfolio grows and the more complex your operation gets, it'll only cause more problems. Particularly the logistic nightmare of having things like properties and tenants both down as customers when running reports. Third is managing properties is disjointed in QuickBooks. If you've never used property management software like DoorLoop before, you might have not realized this yet. However, the final way QuickBooks falls short, but where it can work really well in combination with property management software is in lack of integrated systems. Typically, you might receive a maintenance request online or via text or call. Then you need to create a purchase order or similar in QuickBooks. Finally, you need to contact your vendor to complete your maintenance. Oh, then you need to go back to QuickBooks to pay them when the work is done. Oh, and also don't forget to call or message the tenant when the work order is complete. See the problem? There's a lot back and forth which equals wasted time and a lot of headache. With DoorLoop, you could have received the maintenance request, created the work order, assigned it to a vendor, contacted the tenant when it was completed, and paid out the vendor. All from one place. Even on your phone. So yeah, that's a pretty big deal. Needless to say, by optimizing each one of your systems in exactly the same way, you'll be saving tons of time and getting a whole lot of efficiency, productivity, and peace of mind. So what else can property management software like DoorLoop do for you? Well, if you're just starting out, QuickBooks will do most of what you need to do decently well with some lost efficiency. However, for any medium to large size portfolio, with DoorLoop's all-in-one property management tools, you'll be able to integrate every one of your systems into one place. That'll not only save you time and money, but streamline and optimize your entire operation as a whole. With DoorLoop, you've got options. You can handle your entire property accounting with extensive accounting features such as multiple ways to accept rent like credit card and ACH and more. We have bill pay, bank reconciliations, easy bank accounting syncing with Plaid, design custom reports, keep a full chart of accounts, and literally so much more. Plus, you get access to a whole array of invaluable features that allow you to integrate the rest of your property management tasks together into one place. Maintenance management, including an ability to communicate directly with tenants on work orders from within the app, assign to a vendor, pay them out when it's done, and let the tenant know, easier rent collection with automatic rent payments, and a convenient tenant portal where they can pay rent, fees and keep up with payments. Also, there's some awesome marketing and leasing features such as e-leasing, tenant screening, automatic listings, and a professional website. Oh, and there's an owner portal where you can print checks and run key reports for your owners. If you'd rather keep your property management accounting with QuickBooks while taking advantage of the other great features DoorLoop has, that works too because of DoorLoop's convenient integration with QuickBooks. To do that, you simply hop into DoorLoop and sync your QuickBooks online account with DoorLoop in a matter of minutes. Now you can get the best of both worlds without having to give up up a single thing. Anyway, I hope that this step-by-step -step helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more property management content, and I will see you in the next one.